In this tutorial, we're going to use MechAnim Animator in Unity with Playmaker to animate a set of sliding doors to open and close. Create an empty object and place it in front of the sliding doors. Rename the left side of the door to Door L and the right side to Door OR. Make the two sides of the door children of the empty object. Rename it to Door Parent. Select Door Parent and open the animation window. Click the arrows and choose Create New Clip. Rename it to Door Idle. Click Create New Clip again and rename this one to Door Open. Click Add Property. In the timeline, go to one second and drag the right door to the right so that it's open. Repeat for the left door and you should see the keyframes added automatically. Click Create New Clip again and rename this one to Door Closed. Click Add Property. In frame 1, open the doors and at 1 second have them closed again. In your Assets folder you'll see the animations that you just created. Click on Door Close and in the Inspector panel uncheck the Loop Time box. Repeat this for Door Open, making sure that Loop Time is unchecked in each case. Select the door parent object. In the inspector panel, look at the animator component. Notice the animation controller. Double click on it to open the animator window. You should see the three animation states visible. Door idle, door open, and door close. Select the door parent object. Click add component and choose physics box collider. Tick the is trigger checkbox. Resize and reposition the box collider in front of the doors. Select the door parent object and add a new FSM in Playmaker. Add a trigger enter transition to state 1. Add a new state and add a trigger exit transition. Add one more state and add a finished transition. Connect state 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and 3 back to 1. Test the game to see if the trigger is working. Make sure your doors are not touching anything else or the state will automatically trigger to state 2. Move your character to the door to test it. Select state 2 and add an animator play action from the Playmaker Actions browser. Double check the name of the animation state in the animator window. Type the name of the animation state you wish to play, i.e. door open. It's case sensitive. Select state three and add an animator play action. This time type in door close. Test the game and when you go to the door it will open. When you leave it will close. Download a sound effect of a door opening and closing from a website such as freesfx.co.uk. Import the mp3 into assets, select the door parent and in playmaker select state two. Add the play sound action from the actions browser and select the mp3 from the list. Test your game and both the animation and the sound effect should play when the door opens. So this has been a short tutorial on how to create animation interactively using Playmaker in Unity 5.